This video is about the Bohr effect, which is basically has to do with the, the affinity of oxygen to hemoglobin. An easy way to think about this is, I imagine a hemoglobin car with four oxygen tires. And the car goes into an acid tunnel and the tires fall off. It's kind of the concept. Now in class you'll probably see a, uh, a graph with a sigmoidal S-curve and that's either going to move to the right or the left based upon four factors. And when I think about the car going into an acid tunnel, you can think in terms of like in the human body, a capillary. And think about muscles working out and exercising. Those muscles, those tissues are gonna need more oxygen. So in order for this sigmoidal curve to move to the right, you would uh, can have an increase in temperature, an increase in CO2, uh, you'd have a decrease in pH, which is basically an increase in acid levels, and an increase in 2,3-DHP, or DPG. So that makes sense, because when you work out, your body temperature gets hotter, cellular respiration is going to give off more CO2, which, as you recall, carbon dioxide is an acid, so it makes sense that the pH goes down. Uh, the 2,3-DPG, that reminds me of one of those crazy things we learned in glycolysis, you know, one of those two stages. But uh, that's how I think of that in terms of exercise. It's actually a pretty cool story in and of itself. But that's it, the Bohr effect. Hemoglobin car, four oxygen tires, it goes into an acid tunnel, and the tires fall off. And... The more this curve shifts to the right, I guess the looser those bolts are on the tire and the easier the tires fall off. That's it, the concept's pretty simple.